Okay, let's talk about the CBEST, and specifically we're going to be talking about the CBEST math section. And uh, if you're watching this video, I assume that you're an educator out in California. I don't know if you're uh, switching careers or you're a student teacher, but the CBEST, unlike the CSET, is the exam that um, you have to take in California to verify your basic skills. So it's effective what the CBEST is. Um, the point of this video is how to do great on CBEST math. So if math is one of those areas that stresses you out or you're concerned about for the CBEST, I think uh, hopefully if you spend a few minutes with me, um, I think this will really help you out. So before we get going, I want to let you know, let me just tell you a little bit about my uh, background. I'm actually a math teacher, I've taught middle school math, high school math, even some college math. Uh, now. I didn't take the CBEST or CSET. I took the Praxis exam because I didn't teach in California. But um, more or less, uh, you know, teacher certification exams are generally going to be, you know, the same level of, uh, you know, rigor, if you will. Okay, you're going to just have to know your stuff yeah, because these are professional exams. So, um, anyways, with that being said, I want to let you know that. If you are concerned about the math component of the CBEST, I actually offer a CBEST math uh, course, very comprehensive. So if you like my teaching style, I think you'll really enjoy my uh, CBEST math uh, course. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video so you can check that out if you like. But let's talk about some some simple ideas to that you can focus in on to do well on the math section here, on the CBEST. So from a math teacher's uh, perspective, okay, and you just kind of, as you teach more and more years, you really look at mathematics as I like to think of it, kind of like as a staircase, okay? Like middle and high school level math. And that's pretty much what you're going to um, be facing uh, on the CBEST, okay? Now, what is this, you know, what am I kind of doing here with this kind of staircase? Well, these, this little diagram here represents skills, okay? So we're, let's assume, you know, you're right here doesn't have to be the bottom it could be there could be more stairs down here etc but let's just say whatever it whatever you're at here let's kind of do it this way let's say these represent skills now all of you out there um, have you know you are a different level of, of math skills okay some of you may be down here some of you may be up here what doesn't make a difference right to to get to this point is where you kind of need to be for the CBEST. And that's, you know, knowing, you know, being very strong with, say, high school level mathematics, you know, algebra, geometry, that sort of thing, okay? That that means that, you know, you really have to have a lot of skills that you can demonstrate on this test, okay? Now, some of you may not know the, all these skills right now, but here's the deal. This, like, steps right here represents how do you, how do you build these skills up, okay? Well, you build them up one step at a time okay one step at a time and I'm trying to be corny here is to be at this level you you have to have this support of skills underneath you okay and let me just draw another diagram here this is this is what I'm, ta I'm trying to talk about skills and math are not this way they're not like this all right so oh I can have this skill skill one this is skill two this is skill three skill four math doesn't work that way okay when you have a good curriculum to follow math is cumulative it builds upon itself okay this is like dispersed uh, so once you understand that and probably a lot of you out there you know say oh yeah that obviously okay math is you know math builds upon itself however a lot of people don't study in this manner okay what they do is like oh, okay i'm going to study some of this uh then i'm going to kind of study over here then I'm going to kind of study over there, that type of thing. And this is a kind of common mistake because even though you conceptually understand that math builds upon itself, you're not studying or verifying your skills in such a way. Okay. Most people are kind of doing a little bit over here, a little bit over here, a little bit over here, etc. Now, what I've seen, uh, uh, and this is the case with high school students, it doesn't make a difference. If you even if you think yourself, oh yeah, well I'm not a, I'm not in high school, I'm in, uh, in college, or I have a degree. Well, the advantage that you have obviously is you know how to study. But still, when it comes to studying mathematics, a lot of people, okay, all students of whatever level, have I think sometimes they have a false sense of 
security, if you will, about their current skills or false sense of strength that their foundational skills are very strong. Okay, they're like, oh, I don't have to study all of this because, you know, it's a waste of time and I already, you know, it's beneath me. I, it's like middle school math. So what are some of those skills like? Okay, and let's just kind of list them down here. Some of the ones are like fractions. Okay. Most people think they know fractions. They don't know them as well as they think they do. Okay. Order of operations is another one. Order of operations. I'm pretty sure if I give you a, like a complicated order of operations problem with fractions, and let's throw in some positive and negative numbers, a lot of you out there would not get the correct answer because <laughs> this is this requires a lot of focus and a lot of practice to you know to handle a problem you know, uh, in a kind of good methodical manner. So these are the foundational skills. And then we kind of move up in, in algebra, how to solve a basic equation, the distributor property, and the qualities, just basic concepts of uh, lines and graphs, etc. So you can't get to solving, let's say, systems of equations. Okay, if you don't know what a system is, then that's one thing that you want to put on your list for the CBEST system of equations without having all these things kind of like being strong in. So the way you do excellent on the CBEST is you don't have to totally relearn everything, but you need a way to kind of, you need to validate these these skills. You need to make sure that you're, you're strong in these foundational skills and, and you spend a little time, you know, either learning them or mastering them, and then that way you'll have a strong foundation to build upon. Okay, and the way to do it is not this way, like, oh, I'm going to spend some time learning some fractions, and then I'll come over here and do some equations, and then I'll come back over here, and then I'll do some order of operations. What you want to have is a good plan, a good curriculum to follow. So like in my course, for example, you know, I have, there's chapter one, section one, it's there for a reason, okay? So whether you use my course or some other study material, make sure that it has like a logical flow and you go through it, okay? So now if you're taking the CBEST and you're ultimately, you're, you're going to be teaching math uh, in school at some level, then, you know, just think of all this effort that you're going to put into developing your math skills as part of your professional education. Okay? And I think as an educator, it's not, you don't have to speak to someone who's like maybe taking their GED exam and, you know, just wants to take it and be done with it. You, you are in a, you're in the business of education. So, when it comes to learning math, just think of math as, you know, a cumulative set of skills and kind of have the attitude like, all right, I'm going to verify. <laughs> I'm going to verify my skills and not just, uh, you know, assume that you have them. Okay? And if you do that, you follow that, you're going to walk away with uh, a great review. You're going to really strengthen your, your math skills for the long run. And, of course, if you end up teaching math, you're going to be able to... Um, you know, passes on to your, your students as well. So this is pretty much what I wanted to share with you. Hopefully, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, you know, you're kind of like, oh, okay, I get that. You know, I want to just leave you a simple framework, a mental framework as you're studying because you're already a professional, okay? You're obviously a college student, and I don't want to patronize you with advice. But when it comes to learning math and studying for math and teaching math, you know, these are the things that, you know, a, a simple model like this can help you get focused on a good study plan. So again, if you like my teaching style, uh, I have a great uh, CBEST math test prep course. I'll leave the link in the description again of this video. Also on my YouTube channel, I literally have hundreds of videos. I love to kind of post videos I've been on YouTube for many, many years. So there's a lot of videos out there that can um, uh, you can use to help you study for the CBEST as well. And if you got something out of this video, I'd definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Um, you know, are you going to be moving on to take the CSAT exam? Are you going to be teaching math? Uh, are you switching careers? Um, you know, any feedback on this video? I enjoy, I try to read the, as many comments as possible, but uh, it's difficult. I do get a lot of comments on my videos, so I'm thankful for that. But it's, you know, it's the way I know how I'm doing. And also through your questions and comments is, you know, allows me to kind of like have uh, ideas for future videos that can help you out. But with that being said, one educator to another. Listen, we need great teachers out there. Uh, I'm also a parent. We want, you know, and if you're a parent as well, teachers are extremely important. It's not an easy career, but it's definitely a rewarding one. Okay. And uh, so anyway, I can help you. 
you know, through these videos and any in my courses, etc. You got my full support. So definitely go for it. Thank you for your time and have a great day.